Greetings family, we're here in Jahadzi at our Black Sock Pan-African Community home slash office. And uh, this is not our 15 acres, but our 15 acres is across in that direction. So we're gonna show you more on that. But this is our operation here that we have set up in Jahadzi to manage and run the Black Star Pan-African community. So I'm your president of the organization and this is our vice president who manages the office here in Jahadzi. And I'm here managing what we have there in Georgia. So together from America to Ghana, we're working together to help our brothers and sisters repatriate, repatriate, return home, connect, live, and do business in Africa. Uh, so this is the foundation that we have set up and we have set it up based on a 15 acre property that we have and another 60 acres. Uh, so family, uh, that's what we're managing from there to here and we have it set up to where you know, we organize, we're looking to build the operation here to where we can be more efficient. Uh, so we just started with the office a year ago and you know it's a work in progress but we're building the energy but this is your representation if you're part of our community you can come by and if you just need to overnight you need to spend some time here you know we have space here it's a nice big house three bedroom two bathroom house uh, so brother Azibo, how you been pretty good pretty good thanking you thank been you busy. for holding the fort down been busy been busy uh, this is one of our great elders right here. i love what he always told me man he said uh you know, revolutionaries don't retire, they bring that fire. That's right? right, they come with that fire, brother. That's right. So we're working together, you know, to really bring this home. And it's, you know, family, it's been, it's been a journey. And you know, that's why we all say we need your support and everything uh, to connect with us. Because the more we can bring investors and business people to Jahadzi, the more we can work together to build an incredible town. So this is a, a headquarters for African Diaspora Connection to literally be a part of the development of this beautiful town. Uh, Jahadzi's, you know, you can call it, you can call it somewhere outside of Winneba, but the main town in this area is uh, Winneba. Uh, but we didn't want to just move to the most popular town. We wanted right. to find somewhere very rural where it's a lot of land, right. four and, miles out, and then we have a, you know, a lot of beautiful young generation of children where we can pass on our skills and talent and support their energy. That's right. So we do, we're more than just here building real estate development. We're also here to be a part of the beginning of a youth movement. A global youth movement. And he's not the same youth movement. Once he got here, you know, he's been putting the work in and building that energy. That's right. That's right, brother. And then, anything else you want to share with everyone before well, we... Uh, the whole culmination of this youth movement is to create jobs. Create jobs in the community by creating entrepreneurship. And entrepreneurship comes with ideas. We have we have a product that we that we produce called Dream Cream, and uh, right now as we speak we're we're establishing a restaurant, uh, an, an ice cream parlor, uh, right next to the restaurant, and it's it's going it's going to manufacture uh, the ice cream, African style ice ice cream. So uh, we, we're a first in this area. And I believe that we're coming with ideas that's going to change the, the entire planet. You know, we, we just, we want, we, we need a chance to create our own jobs. Not go looking for jobs, but become a job. Create and hire our own people by cre creating our own economic system. You know, go ahead, brother. Absolutely, family. So that's what we're doing, family. We're looking to build black cooperative economics where we are. A community and putting our money together and that's how we've been able to pay for this house right here pay for all the land set up can you have him cut that down please yeah. uh, so you know uh, our driver's getting a little excited with the music but uh these are things that we're putting our energy into that way we can you know by the time we keep on investing and building this town right. you know when you're ready to really retire or when you're ready to maybe this, just this look for all the options you're good to go right. but i'm telling you if you we stay in america and we don't invest in these opportunities then when we're ready to make a move to Africa, we won't have these things established. That's right. Because you know, I remember during uh, the COVID-19 era, uh, people were wondering, wow, uh, where, where did we go from here? But it's like, you know, we could have all went to Africa if we had everything organized as we needed it to, for those that was looking for options. You, so, and you know what, COVID-19 wasn't even our dilemma. That was, that, that was the dilemma. No, what, well, what I'm saying though, it opened you know, people's mind up to, uh, you know. Yeah, to, that's right. We, Did I do the right thing with my money? Did I invest in the future? Right. What if I had 
property in Africa and I had a whole town developed right. and I can build my own ecosystem and things have, like that. Yeah, that would have put us, you know, because it, it put a lot of strain on people, whether it's emotional, right. financially, right. Uh, psychological <clears throat> and things like that. But if you have your own development where you have your medical facility, right. you have your you, know, you have, you have your, your office, you have your technical and business center, right. you have your farming production, you have your beach, you have you know you have people that are putting their energy together and working together. That's you right. can literally solve a lot of these situations. So that's what we saw in people when we first came into the town is nothing but land. And so with land, you can build an incredible future and empire. And that's what we're here to, to, to you know, connect with family. So we have a whole staff crew and people here on the ground right. uh, all over the place. Right. So that's how, that's how we can help anyone, whether it's consultation, whether it's them being a part of our community, or whether they just want to move uh, from, you know, from the African diaspora to the African continent. Uh, we got you, family. So that's whether right. it's our Africa Tours and Investment Information or our Black Star Pan-African Community Information, that's our website, family, Africa for the Africans. For, for the Africans. Dot Right. And you can click on Black Star Pan African Community, or you can click on one of our tours. And these are the things that we have in full details. You know, tons of videos for the last three years about our community, and and even more so on our tours. So, family, uh, we'll keep you posted, and we'll show you some more as we get ourselves ready to go inside, and also to take you to go see the chief, and also to go see the land. So, uh, stay tuned, family.